hands, that's what I've got to say to you, mate. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dearie me. I am still dying. Uh, yeah, hey, Holly, how are you? How are you? Um, yeah, um, <coughs> it was it was touch and go whether I was going to do this tonight, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm just feeling like shite. I'm really feeling like shite. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I've had the cold. If you if you're on if you're on the Friday waffle uh, on Friday, you'll you'll I was going on and on and on about it. But I've had a stinking cold. Um, it's kind of largely got better, but I've just got this horrible, horrible, <coughs> really debilitating cough. Um, I keep thinking it's getting better, and it's not. It's not showing any signs of getting better. Um, I see why. Why is that? Why are you saying that? It's quiet because it's turned up right. You know what I'm going to have to do. I, I before tell you before uh, before I start fanning about with sound. Can anyone else let me know how is how quiet is my voice? I mean, I've got <coughs> I've got this uh, microphone on OBS. There's a, a volume control, and it is turned up to max. Um, See that's <coughs> it's quiet, right? Right. How do I'm on Windows 10, folks? How do I adjust the 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 volume of my microphone? <coughs> I know it's a setting. I can't bloody remember. How do I do it? I go into settings. I think, don't I? <coughs> Audio gain filter, right? Colin, how do I do that, mate? How do I do that? <coughs> I've got my microphone. Do I go to advanced properties? See that that's the thing, you're getting I'm getting conflicting uh, conflicting stuff. <coughs> I'd rather be too loud so that people can turn it down than, than not loud at all. How do I do this, Colin? I can never bloody remember. And what I also want to do, Colin, if you can uh, let me know how I turn because people were complaining about you could hear me like breathing into the microphone. Um which is a thing I tend to do from time to time. It's always always handy to breathe. <coughs> if you can let me know how I do that, uh, it's not properties, is it? Uh, is it advanced properties? I can't bloody remember. Click the three dots. Right, filters. Right, okay. Click the three dots. Add gain. Right, gain. There we go, there's gain. How's that? Is that loud? Is that too loud? And how do I also how do I blank out the background noise Colin? Noise suppression I think it is, isn't it? Right, anyway, I've I've fucked about with that. <laughs> uh Right, how how's that? Hopefully, I've turned it up a wee bit. That's better. Right, excellent. Right, anyway, um, listen, I'm feeling like shite. Um, you're lucky even be you're, you're lucky you actually have me on tonight. Honestly, I was like, oh god, that's why I was late. I'm like, I can't believe it's seven o'clock. I'm going to go to my bed. <clears throat> but uh, you know what? I go the extra mile for you guys. Are you using the microphone in your headset? If you're getting breath, then just move it away from your mouth. Yeah, I mean, how how is it? Are you getting? Can you hear me going? <clears throat> right, the st I've just l just thought, you know what? Let's play some Amiga games. Give me some games to play. Um, there's no theme at all other than it's going to be the Commodore Amiga. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little text box. Let's try and think of stuff that I don't normally play. Um, don't have a problem with playing stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, absolutely, Holly. I know I've waffled quite enough. You know what I was actually doing? Um, somebody, uh, somebody very kindly gave me this uh, little app or a bit of software, and it allows you to download the entire every video on a YouTube channel. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to download every Friday waffle. So I've done that. Um, I've now downloaded every Friday waffle. I think there's something like 300 gigs worth of Friday waffles. Um, but I'm actually really happy that I've done that because it means that I can put them on a drive. And if anything happened to me, then <coughs> people have got, you know, I don't know, 
500. They've got about, I don't know, five, six hundred hours of me talking fish. But it's, it's a nice little thing to leave your kids, I think. Rather than just, uh, you know, photographs they can watch the Friday waffle. Right, anyway, get some games in. So let me just get uh, webcam and mister. There we go. <coughs> right, that's taken up. Vroom, yeah, let's kick off with that. No, I've got a problem playing that. I don't have a problem, but that, certain games I don't want to play. I don't want to play bloody adventure games. Right, hang on a second. I need to figure out how to do this. Oh, it's that, is it? Yeah, there we go. I need to make that a wee bit weird. I'll do, I'll do, that'll do. Starquake? Starquake on a... I don't think Starquake was on the corner. Amiga, was it? Was there a version? We'll have a look. Stunt... Ah, yes, the lost. Absolutely. Stunt car racer. Right, let's just get... Uh... <coughs> You know what? I'll, I fucking hate it, but I will. That's why. That's the. That's the lens I go to to provide a service for you guys. Rainbow Islands. Fucking hell, Nicky Boom. Um, is that a game? <coughs> I'll tell you what. I uh, I was watching over the weekend. Uh, a couple of my mates on Facebook were talking about it. Was a uh, Fallout. Um, I never really got any Fallout the game, but oh, what a great program! I've watched four episodes, really, really good, really good. What was that slam tilt? <coughs> slam tilt. Adam, can you do me a favour? Can you keep a note of the? Can you still hear me, guys? Because it's now I'm getting a little uh, error saying YouTube is not responding. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Right, anyway, let's get let's get this loaded up. I will be here until nine o'clock as always. <coughs> yeah, really enjoying it, Adam. It's excellent. Right, let's kick off. Oh, that's fine. It's it's weird, it's got an error on this. OBS has this little uh, thing called YouTube, it's a little dock, YouTube live control panel. That's weird. It's saying it's not responding, as long as you can hear me anyway, that's fine. Right. Uh, I tell you what was depressing, when I was going through some of the Friday waffles, I realised how fat I've got in the last 3-4 years. <laughs> I wouldn't quite put me in the clinically obese category quite yet, but compared to what I was about four years ago there again, I was probably just malnourished back then. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to say. Right, Varum. <coughs> Varum multiplayer, there we go. <coughs> I do apologise about, uh, I want to clear my throat every five seconds. Yeah, we'll get Sensei Soccer on there as well. I'll tell you what I need to do. Cheers, Adam. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just dive in. Oops. Okay, yeah, let's dive into this. Oh, we don't want... Right, okay, we're going to have to use the mouse then. Joystick. Game audio very loud. Right, not a problem. I can put that down a wee bit. Let me know. 
So I need to get it right because obviously I formatted my computer uh, last week and I'm still trying to get all the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Stephen, you tell him, son. <clears throat> Yeah, you've got to kind of fanny about quite a bit to get uh, get things working all right. Might be getting an echo on game sound too. Not quite sure how because the game sound is coming through my uh, headphones. It's not coming out of the speakers. No, Adam, since Touchwood, um, since I formatted it, it's been, it's been absolutely fine, thankfully. I absolutely detest, I mean, PCs are great, but even they don't work, they test the bloody things. Right, <coughs> what I want to do is I want to put that to joystick, there we go. Cheers. Good in the sound. Yeah, the first time I played this, could never leave. Now, there is a bit of flicker going on. That's the game that's nothing to do with the stream. Oh, bollocks. You know what? Sorry, I'm wanting to see if we can... Uh, <laughs> I want to see if there's uh, if I can put it on automatic. Hey Brian, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I did. I did come in about uh, ten past seven, something like that. But you're lucky to have me. Honestly, I'm dying. Dying, I see. Right, last. Uh, I'm not. I promise I won't reset it. Right, so we want to go joystick automatic. There we go. Now we're in business, folks. Now we're in business. Tell you what, wait a minute. It doesn't matter, I was going to say, I will uh, attempt to make the screen bigger, but no, I'm not going to push it out any longer. Yeah, compared to like uh, Formula One Grand Prix, I understand it was. Since you're here, I, I am intending to do a, an Amstrad uh, stream. I will have very much knowledge, very much knowledge, I don't have much in the way of knowledge about the, uh, the Amstrad, but I will uh, do a stream. Hey Steve, how are you mate?
I will, I will need to do an MSX stream at some point. <clears throat> Again, I don't really know, I'm not familiar with uh, what the game. Sorry, I was Adam saying there's a nice looking indie conversion of Flying Shark coming up the Amiga. Hmm, nice. Right, I'll just jump right next from one. Uh, what are we looking for? Oh, we don't want to do that. From one. Driving game on the next stunt car racer. Evening, babes. How are you? <coughs> what am I looking for? Stunt car racer. <coughs> I think I will need to, uh, is Holly still here? I think I will need to do a, a strip poker special. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles, obviously. <coughs> I mean, after all, that was one of the, the first, uh, kind of, that was a really popular genre of game, especially when it got to 16-bit, because they started to actually look like uh, the real thing. Stunt car racer, uh, will we play? No, let's, let's stick with the original. Oh, sorry, Starquake, right, I will play Starquake after this. Turbo mode, infinite boost. Right, okay, we'll not do that. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to put this on to... Uh, I'm going to put this on to regular... Not regular, I'm going to put it on to PAL. Because some of the games, yeah, automatically... For some weird reason, automatically defaults to force NTSC, so what I want to do is force PAL. There we go. And what I can do now... Oh, my God, didn't mean to do that. Right, wait a minute. If in doubt, just do a reset. Much quicker. Hey, did that go into options? Force pal, there we go, and then we want to go back. <coughs> now, I have uh, got a, a video coming out, um, I recorded it a few weeks ago actually, with uh, a friend of mine's, uh, Jamie Hampshire, Adam will know Jamie, uh, a guy called Juno6, um, he appeared in a couple of my channels, a couple of my videos, he did, uh, he joined me as we attempted to play Super Huey. And uh, as a follow-up to that, we attempt to play uh, Flight Path 737 on the Commodore 64. Um, it was a game I bought back in the day, and trust me, it is impossible. So there's about two hours of Jamie and I uh, attempting to get the damn thing off the ground. If you want to see how we get on, you'll need to uh, tune in. Probably put it out, I don't know, Tuesday, Wednesday. Something like that, right? What we're looking for. Well, let's go to Starquake. 
bits there. I didn't even I didn't realise Starquake came out for the Amiga. There we go. Starquake. Who's the guy that, oh yeah, Steve Crow, that's right, yeah, he did the original. So in an argument at work with a girl, um, Popcorn, the, the tune came on and she went, oh, it's Jean-Michel We Are, and I went, no, it's not Jean-Michel We Are, she went, it is, it is, I went, it's not, and, uh, but what happened was apparently that, that song has been covered by so many people, including Jean-Michel We Are, um, but she was trying to say that Jean-Michel We Are actually wrote it. <laughs> That's about the size of the thing I'm in, yep. No, he did, he did actually do a cover version of it. Right, how do we... How do you jump? Uh, I can't remember anything about this game. I am, uh, I might actually do it midweek actually, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to call it a cinch, I'm going to do, listen to some tunes, um, I do miss doing these, um, I don't think I'll ever, I don't think we're ever likely to see Lakosa, myself and Panther, uh, doing these again, unfortunately. Um, but it doesn't mean I can't do them myself. It's just a good excuse to listen to uh, some classic Sid music. And I've been kind of put in the mood for Sid music. Uh, I've been working my way through the... Uh, looks, I've been working my way through that Rob Hubbard book um, that uh, Chris has done. Oh, hi, Colin. I, w I was wondering. I was wondering. I'm like, oh, that's a, a new person. Good to see you, mate. to the side. What does that do? Probably not the ideal. Uh, he did. Trust me. She uh, she insisted in showing me uh, on, if you type in John Michelle Yard popcorn, he did do. She showed me on YouTube. Right, I think I've just used up all my climbing ability. Go for it, Colin, if you don't mind, mate. I think, yes, I can send it in Discord. I'll, uh, I'll transfer it across to the, the thing, mate. Yeah, I don't know when it was... I don't know when he recorded it, um, but she insisted on letting me see that he did record it, and to be fair, uh, he does do a sort of version of it 
Right, listen, I'm going to... Uh, I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing here, so we're, we're going to move on for that. But, you know what? Nice, nice version. <coughs> Never actually realised it. It was out in the, uh, the Amiga. Right, stunt car racer. Tell you what, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna press. It. I'm gonna make this screen a wee bit bigger. I messed up. I'm gonna move that over there, and then I'm gonna drag that up, and then move that down. There we go, that's giving us a bit more screen. That's better. Nah, I think we'll play a couple of tracks anyway. I mean, the, the, the song itself was written in something like 1959. Um, the version that everybody knows was uh, obviously Hot Butter. But uh, yeah, there was definitely a jar version. Yeah, I think that was the second version actually. Um, Ross, it's Commodore Amiga. If there's a particular game you'd like to see me have a wee crack at, just uh, let Adam know and he'll add it to the list. I'm going to do, sorry, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to cheat here folks, I'm going to do infinite boost, yeah, there we go, just make it a wee bit more easier to play. Yeah, yeah. Don't adjust your eyes. Uh, I have indeed agreed to play Rainbow Islands. God knows why. Just so I can hate it even all the more. Uh, why does that look extremely small, that screen? Cheers, Colin. I'm actually going to turn around and face the screen rather than have my kind of head cocked to the side. Fairly easy with uh, an infinite turbo. Never ever got to play this uh, like multiplayer. Chance to play multiplayer. So does that pie storm thing, Collins? I just get completely. I don't understand these things. Does it kind of turbocharge? Does it make this run quicker, or or what? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, as Adam says, that'll make it easier to can he stick out. Uh, right, I got my arse absolutely whipped here. <coughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's really impressive, Colin. I've just not got the, the wear for all to do stuff like that. You're extremely more cleverer than me anyway. It's a tricky game this, you know, especially when you've not been playing it you know, much in the last sort of 30 odd years. Um, you need to kind of get used to the handling. No, I, I, I don't see... Uh, I mean, I had an accelerated Amiga 1200 and I just want to play games. You know, that's all I want to do. But I'm shit at this. Right, Colin. How you doing, mate? Hey, Ross. How are you, mate? Too busy to look. I turned my head to look at the comments here. <laughs> Not clever. this last one and then we'll move on to something else race two lost two <clears throat> I'll tell you, I was bloody impressed with the uh, is it the Atari one the Atari 800 version of this played it a couple of weeks ago in a live stream really impressive Um, not great, Ross. Thanks for asking, mate. Um, I mean, the cold itself is kind of getting better. Still kind of got the sniffles. <coughs> but 
I've still got a horrible, horrible... I think it's in my chest. Um, I went to the doctors on Friday because I've had it, kind of, this cough for uh, about three weeks. And uh, they don't seem to think it is. They seem to think it's in just in my in my throat or whatever. Um, but it's horrible. Um, <coughs> and I, I think I've also pulled a muscle in my bloody back uh, when I've been sleeping. And of course, oh, shit. When you, uh, you cough, it's quite a... It's quite a, what do you call it, a violent movement compared to a bastard. Uh, and so every time I cough, it hurts my back. <laughs> so I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling pretty sorry for myself at the moment, if I'm being honest. Come on. I'm trying to rush it too much. for a fact that nobody ever watches my streams to see any uh, any demonstrations of uh, good gameplay. If you've come to see expertise at gaming, you've gone to the wrong channel, folks. I love the Taris. I mean, I think uh, I could have quite easily have, you know, had they been more popular, I quite easily have been just as happy with an Atari as I was with the C, uh, C64. I think it's a great machine. Right, anyway, listen, that's enough of a uh, stunt car racer. Oh, fucking hell, Rainbow Islands, really? Who who picked that? I don't even know why I'm playing it, but I'll give it one go. Just so it kind of reminds me... Uh, how shit it is. Uh, Rainbow Islands. Permanent everything. What the hell does that mean? <coughs> oh, I'll I'll be there. Don't worry. I'm not ill. I mean, I'm going. I've not been off my work. I've been at my work every day. Um, so it's not like I'm taking a. It's not like I'm been off work or anything, so I'll, I will definitely be there, so yeah, I've got the hotel booked, we've got everything planned, so now I'm looking forward to, uh, <coughs> I'm looking forward to Arcade Club. I'm just going to play the only way I know how, and that's to just keep jumping up like that, get to the top. There we go, level one complete. I think they are right, uh, Stephen, yeah. Chuck Rock, yeah, I remember that. What happened again was somebody... I can't eat, was it a guy called Paul, I think it was? Uh, I can't remember who he was, but anyway, he, uh, he, he, he was kept requesting Chuck Rock, and I think it wasn't even like an Amiga stream or something like that, and he just... He completely threw his toys at the pram. Um, it was quite funny. And he unsubscribed from me as well, which was quite amusing. Uh, I just hate this game. And yeah, it's the game, I think it was Lacosa told me, uh, this game sold more copies than any other Amiga game. I know I'm playing it wrong. I mean, uh, I watched Charlie Farr playing it one time, um, and he, he knows all the, the ins and outs and whatever. You know, there's no fun in this at all. Well, for me at least. There's 
there's two different types of people in the world with rain violence. There's people who hate the game, and then there's people who are wrong. Right, enough of that bollocks, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> right, Nicky, boom. I'm not even familiar with that game. The re as I've tried to explain, Adam, the reason I detest uh, Rainbow Islands is the game mechanics. It's too complicated. Hang on, I'm going to go into full screen for a second since I'm talking to the camera. It's the thing with Rainbow Islands, if you hold the joystick to the left and press the fire button, it'll do a rainbow, which you then walk up. But then sometimes you don't walk up it. You you can walk through it, you destroy it, and you can also destroy baddies with hitting them with the end of the raid, but it's just, it's too complicated. <coughs> Rodland is easy to play. Um, I don't, I don't compare, I think they're completely different games. Yeah, they've got cutesy graphics, um, but uh, yeah, it's, I just, I'm never going to, maybe if somebody showed me how to play it properly, I'd might like it, but nah, it's not for me. Right, what are we looking for? Evening, Bob, how are you, mate? Uh, Nicky, boom. Oh, fucking hell, from one bloody cutesy pile of shite to the next. Yeah, Bubble Bobble, that's, that's a completely different game. You know what you do, you shoot things with it, you can put them in bubbles, and you can kill people with it. It's just, it's too complicated for me. Um, and I know there's certain other people that don't like the game, and it's got nothing to do with the fact that we've made videos together. I just, I just don't like the game. The game mechanics, if if you came with like a shotgun or a machine gun or something, what the fuck are you playing here? Right, I can honestly say I've never seen this game before. Uh, God, it looks like I've been Donald Trump with makeup on. There are so many of these games. The thing is, the Mega Drive and the SNES were, were really popular. And uh, yeah, Amiga wanted a bit of the action. So there was just this that's going to explode, isn't it? Come on, what's he going to do? Is that going to kill me? No, it's not. Oh, it's a jump at top here. Yeah, so there's all these bloody cutesy games that came out for the Amiga. Um, that was some of them were alright, but most of them I just couldn't be bothered with. Now you see the thing is, this has got cutesy graphics, it's got an ugly looking uh, sprite. But it's, uh, you know exactly what you can do, you know, you can... Yeah, you know where you are with it. And that's the thing I don't like about violence. I don't really know how to control it properly. <coughs> See that? I'll be honest, that's... Oh shit. That's what's kind of put me off Sam's journey. I've never really gotten into it. It's an impressive game, you know, it really is. The fact that it's on a... 64, <coughs> but it's not really the kind of game that I like. Yeah, no. So what the fuck are you? I mean, what is it? It's like some hideous, chucky clown doll thing. Give the ox. How are you, mate? Come on. Okay. At least this is playable. Not a problem. Let's start turning it down. There we go. 
Cheers, Colin. Thanks, buddy. Right, anyway, tell you, before I forget, I'm going to jump into Discord and uh, grab the games that Colin very kindly sent me. Configured for the network, I'm gonna have to get my mate to do that for me. 
Army, so we're not going to be able to play Moon Patrol or Flying Shark. We're not going to go pissing them out with uh, memory cards. Anyway, that was whatever that was in the game room or something. Next one is a game called Slam Tilt, which apparently is a. It's a, a pinball one. <coughs> right, I'm going to take a wee note of that. Slam tilt. Uh, army moves. Uh, sensei. Buggy boy. Data. Storm. Oh, in there. Money, right? Cheers, Adam. Century, so they did. Are these like the. Uh, these are. This is a more up to date version of fairly uh, like pinball illusions and pinball dreams. Really interesting, this should, this should be good then. You know, it's, it's quite funny now because I, I think that these, these uh, pinball games on the Amiga have aged badly because we now get full realistic versions of the real tables. Actually leaning over the table is, is quite incredible. Funny pinball, I have to say. I know some people love it. Um, it's not something I've really played a lot of, and any time I do play it, um, I'm just shy. I know some are saying, "Well, that doesn't stop you playing video games," and you've got absolutely right.
watched a few people playing them. Oh dear. Oh, that's interesting. That's, that's quite clever. Didn't last long. Yeah, I think if I had the chance to play play the tables, I would probably like it. Um, but it's not something I've really had a chance to play. It's like game over. Let's uh, quit table. Yeah, we'll try a different table. Now we'll go for the, the uh, default one because what you tend to find is because it's a default one, that's the one that most people play. And usually they're going to make that the best one. I might be talking shit. I think if you had, what, I think if you had a real pinball table to play, then it would be a little bit One of these games I can play in 30 seconds later, you're dead. Actually, how could I have done it anymore? Sounds good music. Fan of that in the C64, it was one of the toughest games you could play. It was obviously well known for its uh, the advert with the uh, the famous nipple shot. Army moves. There we go. Just give me one little second. Uh, Just one little thing. There we are, that's fine. Right. Right, anyway, where were we? Ah, I don't know, uh, it's not like Dell to uh, not tune in. What has he been there?
budget swift. <laughs> to be fair, I think this this came out before uh, Swift, not Swift. Uh, this did come out in the Commodore 64 and Spectrum. A good couple of years before uh, Swift. I think. <laughs> yeah, buy like shop like a billionaire, Temu. I've kind of, oh, there's Gary Brace's name in it. I have really thought about it. I'll get myself a thermal uh, infrared camera for like £1.96. And I'm like, I got a girlfriend's got a couple of things of Temu, and she says, I'm absolutely shit. There's nothing, absolutely nothing like. That's enough of that. It's not a good game. Right, Sensei Soccer. Uh, <coughs> it's been a while since I played Sensei. Couldn't really, uh, couldn't really get into what you call it, the uh, sociable soccer. Couldn't, uh, it's, uh, nah. I just couldn't get into it. It's all right. But it's it's not sensey. I'm gonna go for the original one. The, what was the the one where you could play as like Chinese food, Chinese takeaway food? I just want to have another quick look. Uh, international. I'm sure it was the original. It was the original one where you had you had the, the kind of novelty teams. Hey, Robert. You just finished watching the Del Boys blog. I noticed you were first to comment. <coughs> Hope you're well, mate. Uh, right, anyway, let's just, let's just get into this. You get nations. Right. Friendly. Uh, tell you what, just for, for a laugh. I'm going to edit, and what we'll do is we will obviously go to 
cell where it's there. Right, we will put, uh, we'll put Ross and Goals. Um, let's see, Meme. Yeah, I uh, I tend to just listen to uh, I don't have an opportunity to listen to Devil's blog during the week. Um, so I, if I, I get an opportunity, I'll listen to it at work and it's a podcast. actually tall. I'm not comfortable calling him Wee Bob, but anyway, that's, that's, <laughs> right, I think that's it. Right, so, uh, <clears throat> so what we now want to do is we want to go to that, and then we want to go to options. Oh, where are you, man? Alex. Swift, he uh, he did a video where he was caught, he was commenting on his own video, and then he made a video a few years later where he was commenting on his video where he was commenting on his video. So there was like three Swifts, which uh, which was pretty funny. Right, 
huge friendly team over a minute. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. We want to go with that. And then we want to go with options. And we want to... Yeah, we'll make it five minutes. That's, that should be fine. Uh, no, we're not. Let's, let's go for ten minutes. Let's go for ten minutes, folks. Or seven. We'll, we'll meet in the middle. Seven minutes out. How's that? Right, friendly. And then we want to have Brazil. And it's going to be... Yeah, it's going... Oh, who do you think? Who do you think? It was myself scoring in zero minutes. Where was Catman? He was nowhere. Oh, pass away. actually show you the names who's got the ball. I used to be good at this game, but it's been a long time. Where was the defence? I must admit, one one game I love playing is uh, I don't really play it very often at all. Is Emily Hughes uh, soccer on the C64 is great. Um, no, I mean I would agree with you. I think this is the best football game ever. Um, I don't really play any any modern football games at all. If I really had to, I would go for uh, I would go for what do you call it? Evolution probably on the PlayStation One. The, uh, the sound, the, the way that the crowd reacts in this game is it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah.
Dream Team, but we get absolutely hammered. Despite scoring in the first zero minute, well, it was the first minute, wasn't it? As uh, we'll just uh, <coughs> we'll play the first half and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move swiftly on. And, uh, was, uh, first goal was also quite clearly uh, a fluke. And it's Bob gets his second goal. <coughs> Excuse me. impossible to defend and so when he got a corner it was a guaranteed goal for him but he used to use a mega drive control come on fucking hell cat man what are you doing mate It's time up, folks. Right, listen, sadly, Bob and myself are the only two players that actually turned up to play. Shocking defeat. Absolutely shocking result. Right, um, <clears throat> let's move on. Um, Buggy Boy. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played. I'm going to get my excuses in early. It's a game you've got to, you've got to be able to play quite a bit. <clears throat> hey, Del. How are you, mate? Uh, right, buggy boy, where is it, where is it, where is it? Buggy boy, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to play, uh, Adam, go and stick American, whatever it's called, American uh, Crazy Cars 3, can't remember what, what it was called properly. Let's try a different course. Try. No, I mean, people going about the Commodore 64 game being the best version of Bucky Boy. I, I disagree with that. Um, Commodore 64 version of Buggy Boy is a great game, but it's not, it's not, it's nothing like the arcade one. It kind of, it's got the flavour of it, but, you know, I think that this, or the Atari ST, does look like the uh, Buggy Boy. If you want to play a proper, authentic Buggy Boy game, right, uh, I'm going to put that on <coughs> the 
easy one. Um, what was I going to say? Default. Oh, let me just try something. Don't know what that does. Hey, Kevin. How are you, mate? <coughs> um, Kevin, no, it ends in half an hour. We've got half an hour, mate. What was I talking about? I can't remember. Yeah, Buggy Boy, the, the, the Commodore 64 is a fantastic game. It's a great game. But it doesn't really feel like Buggy Boy, um, whereas this does. Um, but, you know, the C64 version is a great game. Have I just made that better or worse? Kenya looks the same, doesn't it? felt faster. That was my imagination. So yeah, that, uh, what do you call it? Fallout program is great. Um, I've watched the first four episodes um, that is really good it's actually made me want to it's made me want to play the game even though it's a game that I don't really have time for Adam, any particular reason, I think I've got Fallout 4, I, might, I don't know if I've got it for the Playstation 4, um, certainly got it for the Xbox 360. Is it, would you say it's almost a wee bit easier? Right, okay, yeah, I did kind of, <coughs> I did kind of find that with uh, Fallout 4, I 
the game up pretty quick. <coughs> Alright, listen, let's uh, crack on. We've got 25 minutes. That's a great game. Right, Data Storm. Oh, why am I typing D? Uh, This is uh, it's effectively drop zone for the uh, the Amiga. A minute, I just want to uh, I just want to make that. I'm going to put that down there, and then I'm going to stretch it. There we go. There we go. Next week I'll probably try and uh, this is so fast. Straight you pick up the guys in. See, this is almost on the realms of being too fast. It's nice, Robert. Um, I just, it's too fast. I mean, you can tell what they're obviously doing here. Um, it's like, it's like drop zone and speed. Um, but drop zone's hard enough. This is just a bit too fast for my liking. Is it? I meant to ask you, Kev, I saw your uh, 
you were asking about, was it cities on gold or something? If you had, anyone had a one, you knew how to get running on an, uh, an um, sorry, Android emulator. And I think, is it Wouter? He, uh, he asked, he gave him a suggestion, I think he sent a link to a one disc version. Did you get it, manage to get it working? Right, that is, uh, that's data storm. <clears throat> Next one is Eliminator. <coughs> right, so that, so what is the problem? You, you can't physically get, so is it a little Android, uh, handheld that you're trying to get working? Because what I can do, I can stick it on my, uh, my little android type thing and, and see. So can you get the first disc to work, but the, the problem you've got is when it asks for a uh, uh, Johnny Phillips. give uh, Nebulous a go. That is one of the most frustrating games ever. Uh, Nebulous. Unlimited lives. No, we're going to untick that. <coughs> That infernal, that thing there that just really gets on my nerves. Come on, I'm shooting! Honestly, I just think it's, it's such an unfair game. <laughs> it's pointless even uh, trying to go in from here because uh, I'm just going backwards. It'd be fine if, uh, 
if you can shoot stuff, but you can't. Thanks for Odin, take care buddy, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Uh, where are we going? Right, and go back in. Forwards all the time, you end up forgetting. <laughs> you end up forgetting uh, what way you need to go. Honestly, it's, it's funny, I, I hate this game. I mean, you can be a ball here from uh, getting to the end of the level and within two or three seconds, you're just uh, dead. Off. It's that stupid jump. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna run out of time here. Just can't do the jump. <laughs> Take care, Bob. Thank you. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah. Maybe putting on infinite time might have been the way to go. Wait, how do you jump? jump. Right, fuck it, I hate that game. I hate that game. Right, um, we've got 10 minutes, folks. Blood money. Skip the intro.
Gary, thanks for dropping in, buddy. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
to an end. Uh, thank you very, very much, um, everybody, for taking time out your night to uh, to join me. I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully I can shift this cold. Um, I hope you all have a really good week. And uh, yeah, I will be back next week. I've got the video with uh, where we attempt to take the plane off the ground in Flight Path 737 in the Commodore 64. So anyway, listen folks, until next time, have, uh, I was gonna say, have a great weekend. I wish. Have a good week. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching.